Hey everyone, I've been sensing an anointing for healing today and wanted to just release that right now. Any of you that's been battling for healing in your mind or in your body, uh, it's part of our inheritance Jesus purchased for us at the cross. So he bore everything at the cross so that we could be delivered and healed and set free. <clears throat> but what's been on my heart from the Spirit of God is today is Matthew 8, 16 and 17. Let's start there. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word. And he healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, he himself took our infirmities and bear, bore our sicknesses. So he's quoting from Isaiah 53 about Messiah taking all of the infirmities and sicknesses upon himself at the cross. And <clears throat> the Lord wants us to be made holy, wants us to be healed and delivered. He wants us to be set free. And he paid for that healing at the cross. He paid for our deliverance and our well-being at the cross. He wants us to come into that place of wholeness. But I sense the Spirit of God wants you to be touched in your mind, in your body, in that place that you've needed healing and to let you know that He's already bore this at the cross and He wants you to come into agreement with Him that it's already been taken care of at the cross and that your healing and your deliverance is now with your agreement with him. The anointing of the Lord is healing you and it is destroying the yoke of sickness and infirmity and of demonic powers. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Again, Matthew eight sixteen. when evening had come, they brought to him, who? Jesus. Many who were demon-possessed. Wow. Many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word. That's how powerful Jesus is. And when we take his word and apply it against sickness and demons, they are cast out. Sicknesses are healed. Hallelujah. And he cast out the spirits with a word and he healed all who were sick. Jesus is 100% Jesus. He heals 100%. It says here, he healed all who were sick. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Now I'm going to turn to Isaiah 53. And we'll start reading uh, in verses, we'll start in verse 1. And then we'll come into those scriptures that he just quoted there. Isaiah 53, 1, Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a tender shoot, like a root out of parched ground. He has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him, nor appearance that we should be attracted to him. He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And like one from whom men hide their face, he was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely our griefs he bore and our sorrows he carried. That's griefs or pains and sicknesses and sorrows uh, or infirmities. It says, surely our griefs, sickness, pains, infirmities, our griefs he himself bore, our sorrows he carried. Yet we are ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. Thank you, Lord. He was crushed for our iniquities. <clears throat> the chastening, the punishment for our well-being fell upon him for our wholeness. Fell upon him and by his scourging, his beating, his crucifixion, his suffering, by his scourging, we are healed. You know, they whipped Jesus 39 times 
before they put him on the cross. Well, there's 39 categories of uh, diseases in the world, and sicknesses fall under those 39 categories. From what I understand, I've heard about the medical field, medical studies. But the Lord took care of it all. He he was pierced through for our transgressions. He took care of our sins, everything that made us out of alignment with God to bring us back into alignment and agreement with him and to be born again and have his spirit uh, regenerating our spirit into a new spirit. And now we're sons of God. We're the bride of Christ. We have full authority, full alignment. And now we've been uh, redeemed. He was crushed for our iniquities. Wow. Even the sins we've committed habitually and didn't have control over our flesh and mind and the things we've even chosen to do and could have said no. And then the chastening, the punishment for our well-being, verse 5, fell upon him and by his scourging, by his stripes, by his wounds, we are healed. Now I'm going to go to Psalm 103. You know, and if it's this glorious, this kind of glory in the Old Testament, prophesying about who we are in Christ and what he's given us and healing us, and, and then also foretelling of the future of the Messiah coming, the Savior, to the cross to deliver us, then how much more glorious is it now in the new covenant, all things made new, we're new creatures in Christ Jesus, the old things passed away, all things have become new. <clears throat> Psalm 103 verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Yes, Lord. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. Who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. So back in Matthew 18, when Jesus came on the scene, he cast out demons out of many who were possessed with his word, with the word, you know, leave, go, be gone, come out. His authority is power. And then he healed all that were sick. That it might be fulfilled. It said there in Matthew 8, 17, that it might be fulfilled that he bore our sicknesses. He bore our uh, infirmities, carried our infirmities. He, he took it at the cross. And so I just wanted to get on here and release that word of the Lord for those of you who are battling. The Lord uh, was putting it on my heart and I've sensed the anointing for healing right now. Receive it. Receive his anointing healing you. Receive his word driving out the demon attacking, driving out the infirmity, the sickness, the pain, the sorrow. Jesus came to heal us. He came to make us whole. The chastening for our peace, for our well-being was upon him. He took the punishment. He bore Every sickness, disease, affliction, infirmity, death, destruction, the curse. He has removed the curse out of our lives forever. The Lord has set us free. He has delivered us and made us whole at the cross. You know, but people say, well, I've been diagnosed with this and I've been diagnosed with that and I have this and I have that. But you've got to change your agreement and language to agree with the word of the Lord. And agree that the finished work of the cross eliminated that sickness and disease out and away from your life forever. The blood of Jesus is eternal. The finished work of the cross is eternal. And people say, well, if I'm healed by Jesus, why does this show up in the doctor's report? Well, you don't deny the fact that a symptom rose up in your body or hit you or something in your mind or a demonic attack, a demon, but you deny the fact and the right of that symptom to stay in you. You deny the right and the fact of that demon to stay in you or on you or around you 
because you're not in agreement with the devil or demons or any lie, and you're not in agreement with anything other than the Word of God. So if you're going to the doctor or you're getting treated for things, for symptoms, that's one thing, and doctors are going to do what they can do to help alleviate the symptom, but if you want to get rid of the sickness, disease, the symptoms, you have to believe that Jesus took it at the cross and receive his healing glory and power. Right now, the Lord Jesus is touching people and healing them. You're watching this, and his anointing is clearing up the symptom in your body. He's removing the demon that has been harassing you because he cast out the demons with his word. Hallelujah. It is divine healing. It is supernatural. It is the grace of God. It is the anointing that destroys every yoke and heals every sickness, disease, and affliction and sets free everyone who has been attacked by demons. The anointing. Jesus is the anointed one. The anointing of God is the one that works, is, is he in his power who works the miracle, works the healing, works the glory toward us and in us and upon us and removes the curse, removes it from trying to get back in us. The curse cannot come back in us through the blood of Jesus. In our spirit, born again, our spirit man, we're a new creation in Christ Jesus. But our outward man, the mind, will, and emotions, and the body have to resist the attack in the natural world we live in by standing in agreement with the Word of God and rebuking the sickness and rebuking the devil in Jesus' name. Jesus said in Mark 16 that in his name we'd cast out demons and we would lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. And <clears throat> that's the power that we walk in. That's the power that he's given us because he already took care of it at the cross. See, that you got to look at it that way. You got to say, you know, it's past tense. Jesus already did it at the cross before it ever came to affect me. Now that it's trying to affect me, it has no right to come into my life. I'm a child of God. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. I'm born again, so I've been redeemed from the curse. I've been redeemed from every sickness, disease, and affliction. And people may argue and say, yeah, but we still live in this natural world and we still have these issues and problems and medical problems. I didn't say we didn't. I'm just saying how to overcome them and let Jesus Christ deliver and heal you and set you free. Hallelujah. He is the healer. Jesus Christ is the Savior, the healer, the Deliverer, and the Redeemer. He's the one who makes all things new. He's the one who restores your health. He's the one who drives the demons out. He is the one. If you believe on Him, you will not be ashamed. That's what the Word says. Those who believe on Him will not be ashamed. We look unto Him, and our faces are radiant. Our countenance is lifted up. He is the glory and the lifter of our head. So, Lord, I just thank you right now for destroying every yoke, breaking every chain, removing every demon, and healing every sickness and disease. You already did it at the cross. And I thank you, the person that is watching this, that you wanted this to go to today, is completely being healed and made whole. And that symptom forever removed out of them and off of them and out of their life forever by your power, by your word, by your blood, by your anointing, and by your sacrifice at the cross. Lord, we honor you, and we honor your sacrifice at the cross, and we honor what you've done for us, and we thank you, Jesus, for taking every sorrow, sickness, pain, infirmity, and our sins and transgressions. You took it all at the cross, and by your scourging, your wounds, your stripes, we are healed. Your blood has healed us and delivered us. Your sacrifice has set us free, and Lord Jesus, we thank you that we walk in divine health and healing by your grace. We thank you, Lord. Like in Psalm 103, we praise you, your holy name. We praise you, oh, our souls praise you, Lord, because we don't want to forget all of our benefits. You've healed all our diseases, forgiven all of our sins, and redeemed our lives from the pit. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name for the miracles.
and your healing touch and glory flowing into people now because that's who you are, Jesus. You are the healer. And we praise your mighty name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If the Lord... I mean, your body, I already know the Lord has done it because of his word and because of who he is. But I'd like for you to reply with testimonies just to let us know who got touched by his glory and power and what he cleared up. If you want to share that, you don't have to disclose, you know, uh, anything you don't want to, but it's wonderful to hear the testimonies of healing and what the Lord has done. I've been through many things. I've had sicknesses and I've had infirmities and I've had issues in my life that Jesus completely cleared up and made whole. He completely healed me of things that doctors didn't know would be healed. But Jesus did it at the cross. And when I began to understand that it's already done past tense, and all I need to do is align, agree, and receive, and that's it, and not agree with anything else that would be double-minded, you know, trying to believe Jesus healed me at the cross and then trying to believe the doctor's report, no, you got to believe Jesus. You know, doctors are going to do what they do, but you got to believe Jesus. You got to believe his word. And that's and then the, the infirmity goes away. It begins to diminish and it is removed. The anointing destroys every yoke. Hallelujah. And Jesus is the anointed one. All right, God bless you. Thank you for replying testimonies and just keep worshiping the Lord and praising him for who he is and what he's done at the cross and for taking out the enemy and the curse and all sickness, disease, and affliction. Took it all out at the cross so that we wouldn't have to walk in those things. Oh, there's one more. I've, one more uh, scripture here. It's in 2 Corinthians 2.14. Thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him. Glory be to God. That word right there just decimates anything the enemy would try to put on us. God bless you today. Thank you, Lord.